So how did I go from this? They say the grass is greener on the other side. It must be right. There's barely any grass here. If no one cares to water the yard, water it yourself. To this. I'm Pierre XO, and I've lived many lives. At one point, I was a dance instructor, a magician, a painter, an actor, a musician, a traveler, an idiot, still kinda am, and things that my terrible memory won't allow me to remember. However, it wasn't always like that. I actually grew up in a fairly low-income household with war refugee immigrant parents that basically worked all the time in order to succeed. And succeed they did. They actually achieved their own version of success, aka the American dream. And during this period, while they were always at work doing their own thing, I actually used that time to basically learn a plethora of random things. I was a very bored child and I used that immense amount of time to develop random skills. And these skills weren't necessarily the most useful skills, but they sure were entertaining. And there was also one common link with all of these activities, and that was the fact that I liked to film all of it. But we'll get into that later, because my family's success, although very successful at a certain point, it didn't necessarily last. Because the world has its own way of shaking things up to keep things exciting, not necessarily for the best all the time. Due to unforeseen circumstances, especially economical, the success didn't last. In summary, we ran into a really terrible financial situation. Now the thing is, I actually moved around a lot as a kid. I could probably count it on two hands how much I've actually moved. In this particular case, it was very different because we had to sell practically everything that we had out of necessity this time. So yeah, call me a late bloomer, but at this point was when I really had to learn to fend for myself. And especially with no skills or useful talents, it was a very, very difficult thing to learn. So at this point, let's just say I had a very, very heavy dose of reality. And all I could think about was to escape to another planet. I honestly really hated where I lived at the moment. I didn't know how to make a living. I hated all the jobs that I ran into and I just wanted to escape to another world. And then everything gets better and I live happily ever after. Okay, not necessarily just yet. It actually gets 10 times worse. I got into a major car accident. And this wasn't my first car accident. Actually, years before that, I got into a very, very serious car accident in which my ex-girlfriend at the time ended up in a wheelchair for a few months. She got better fairly quickly, thank God, but at that moment, it really shifted my life around. Then fast forward a few more years, got into a similar car accident, except nobody was hurt this time, except my own worldview and soul and finances. And at this point, you can imagine, I was sick of everything. I didn't want to be around anyone, around anything. I'd never wanted to step into a car again, and I was reaching another low. Luckily, with these types of things, and if it's not your fault, you can actually be fortunate enough to get a good amount of cash. And with that cash, did I decide to go buy a new Maserati and go vroom vroom again? No, I decided to actually travel, to go see bits of the world that I could actually you know, thrive in, perhaps. I flew to Europe. I flew to different cities and countries around Europe to try to find a possible new home. Long story short, I did, and that city was Prague. I spent about two months consecutively seeing, tasting, experiencing, and feeling all of the things that I couldn't do at home. I really felt like I belonged here, and I really felt like I was enjoying all the things that I couldn't do back where I used to live. Of course, young and naive and full of cash, let's just say I didn't really spend the money wisely because within those three months, I blew through a lot of money and I had no future plan and I did not think ahead whatsoever. So I had to fly back home. 
Now that was quite possibly one of the most depressing experiences. It's one thing to experience something depressing, and it's another thing to experience something that's so amazing, and then going back to something depressing. So I made a promise to myself. I said, I can't be here anymore. I have to do everything in my own right to travel and fly to that new world that I loved so much. I started grinding. I started hustling as much as I possibly could. At one point, I took up about probably three minimum wage jobs with a few side hustles in between while attempting to start this new YouTube channel. And it still wasn't cutting it. Like three minimum wage jobs, an hour and a half of LA traffic to pay for the gas money and everything else it was just, I mean, it, it felt impossible and I almost felt like giving up multiple times the rabbit. I was in a tiny home with three roommates and my parents trying my best. And most of the time it felt like my best wasn't enough. The more I hustled, the more the money and the time just felt like it was really going through a black hole. But at the same time, after about a year and a half to two years, I eventually had enough saved up and took all of that money and ran. I basically just said to myself, if not now, then it's never. I took as much money as I possibly could, which still wasn't that much looking back, and flew on a one-way ticket to Prague. And then happily ever after. Nope, it was not paradise just yet because my rent money that I had saved so far was definitely not enough. And I thought I would have, you know, an easy time getting hired as a foreign English teacher there. And I was not getting hired. And those are for other reasons that we won't get into. But yeah, the money was running out again. I'm in a foreign country. I barely speak the language. And I thought maybe it was game over once more. With the help of a few friends, I eventually worked a Christmas season at another clothing store. So it brought me back some memories there got eventually signed up with a marketing agency as an not that well paid of a intern let's just say that much and also the boss was abusive constantly yelling at me for everything that I even did right a few months into this startup business that I was working at I felt very taken advantage of and abused in a lot of ways. I mean, the, the boss was literally yelling to me, to my face for things that she told me to do. I thought, I gotta quit. I can't put up with this abuse, but I need to make money and I don't know what I'm gonna do. Maybe I'm just gonna do food delivery. At that same week, I went to a food delivery store, the food delivery hiring agency, and I got myself one of those backpacks and I told myself, Whatever, I'm gonna deliver pizzas, that's fine. Around this time, I hadn't checked my YouTube. I was still regularly posting as much as I could, but I never really checked the income because I wasn't making that much on YouTube, I'll be honest, even just two years in. So I didn't wanna disappoint myself by consistently looking at analytics and then being bummed that this is going nowhere. Two weeks into the food delivery, I look at my revenue and it's finally climbing. I remember that first check being able to pay rent. I looked at it with the widest eyes ever. And I said to myself, finally, <laughs> this is it. This is it. After that, I basically went harder than ever. Two years before that, when I started the channel, I was binge watching marketing videos left and right, enrolling in courses and doing everything I could to keep the YouTube channel off the ground. Is that the right term? to do everything I could to get the YouTube channel running successfully. And there was so much information out there and there was a lot of good info and then there was a lot of filler info that didn't actually do or mean anything. But within those two years, I was finally able to sift through what works and what didn't. And when I finally saw that check, I gave the YouTube thing another hard go. And through trial and error, I finally cracked the formula. Within maybe even eight months, I basically hacked YouTube. I figured out the formula and I was finally able to afford rent consistently. And not only that, instead of delivering food, I could actually afford food delivery. And ever since then, my channel blew up. I'm living in my dream city and have the freedom to basically do anything that I want. And I'm currently at a stage right now where I've been doing a lot more self-reflection with this newfound freedom that I've had. 
And to be honest, I thought something is still missing. And after this long, hard year of deep introspection, I've really come to terms with maybe what I need to do is somehow give back in one way or another. Through all of the years of blood, sweat, and tears, maybe I can save someone else that miserable time and hopefully lead them to a life that they deserve. And honestly, looking back, I wish I could have figured this out way sooner. I wish there was a method where I didn't have to go through months of random YouTube tutorials and footage just to sift out what actual techniques practically work. And that being said, this is why I'm here. I've basically developed an entirely new course called the Space System. And the Space System is designed to fly you to a new planet that hopefully you enjoy more. I've designed this course to be as straightforward as possible to filter out all the other filler and confusing details that other tutorials have. It's easy to understand and most importantly, it's effective. This is based off of real life trial and error that I've used to develop this channel. And also, I personally have a terrible attention span, which I could never focus in school to be honest with you. So I've purposely designed this thing with a lot of visual aids and real life examples and delivered in a way that is engaging as possible. I promise. It covers all of the necessary info that you basically need to know in order to really get your YouTube channel started. From a complete beginner or to somebody that already has a decent following and wants to grow further, this is basically aimed towards you. It covers how to get discovered, titles, the thumbnails, the video pacing, the equipment, and of course, the ever so elusive algorithm. That's right, I'm willing to say that I've basically figured out the secret to the algorithm. I know that's quite a claim, but I'm confident enough to say that, yeah, I pretty much know how it works by now. And the good news is most of the videos that you see on this channel from a year back was literally all done on this. All you need is an iPhone and a face. Yeah, in fact, you don't even need a face. All you really need is a computer. And nowadays, as much as I do criticize YouTube and social media, I really can't deny the fact that it's actually changed my life for the better. If it wasn't for this YouTube and social media stuff, I literally wouldn't be able to live in my dream city, let alone have food on my table. I wouldn't have been able to meet the interesting, eccentric, weird, awesome new people that I met along the way. And maybe that's kind of why I'm so much more critical these days of the circumstances because I genuinely see the potential that these platforms and the internet can provide for people. And I just really don't wanna see it go to waste. So whether you're a creator, you're another business, you're a person with a message, or maybe you're just someone that just wants to go to a new planet, then this is for you. And if you're curious to see more of it, the link will be in the description. Ever since I was a little kid, I wished that I could go to a planet where I could live freely truthfully and successfully and now i have and i hope the same for you it's prxo but then though